My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. In this short tutorial, we will be looking at how you can query data from an external API and put that data on the screen in Nuxt 3. However, this is not just a simple query. We're going to add in a bunch of other things like adding a loading state, but also a refresh for like when you click load more or read more or something like that. So this is a little bit more of a real life scenario rather than just let me query something, show it on the screen. This is a bit more fancy. All right, so let's go to the computer and have a look. So we are in VS Code here. This is a completely clean Nux3 project. Um, no configuration, nothing added, just the latest Nux3. So in here, what we're looking at is, when you look at this code, there's quite a bit going on, but actually it's quite simple. So what we're doing here is we are querying um, an API that returns conference talks that I'm speaking at, like my conference talks, right? And so if we click on that link and then we remove that broken thingy here, basically this is what that returns. So if I limit it to one, it gives me one. If I click 10, it gives me 10. And these are my latest talks of the conference that I'm speaking at. And basically what this is doing, we are actually utilizing the use async data. And in, inside of that, we are actually fetching that stuff. And these talks, um, as you just saw on the URL, there's a limit, right? You can set one or two or 200 or whatever. And we're using that. So what I've done is by default, I've set the limit to two talks. And so um, we are binding whatever data comes back from that composable use async data to the talks. And so then here, um, we are looking at the pending state. We're loading the talks. And if it's not loading, we're actually showing it. And there's also a little button that says, show me all the talks. So let's have a look. So right now, let's just refresh. This is two talks because that ref that we just set for count was two talks. Um, and so now when I click load all the talks, it's loading, it's at a pending state. And now it came back with 65 talks. Wow, I almost cannot believe I did 65 talks. That's a little crazy. Anyways, outside of that, you can see there's lots of other data now here. And we had a loading state and we had to click a button to load all the talks. And so how we've done that is I have a see all function. And that see all function sets that limit ref that we set in the beginning that was initially two to 200. And then there's the magic of Nux3 and fetching. I literally hit the refresh function. And that refresh function is something that came back from the use async data. And so basically it just refreshes that AJAX call or that fetch or whatever you want to call it with the new data that was set to limit, which is loaded here. And then it just re kind of um, rebinds the stuff that comes from that new query. And then there you go. And there's basically not much to it and adding a load more and a default set of how much you want to query is actually quite simple. Um, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Turbo Tutorial. Cheers.